Put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates. I am Madonna Kambi, and we continue conversations this morning, but we have a slight change in our program. We're speaking this morning with Ms. Rayshawn Pierre Kerr, and she's representing TPAC. And today we're talking about Queen of the Road, a Calypso Rose musical. And if you know anything about TPAC, you know their productions are always something worth taking in. So we're speaking right now with Ms. Rayshawn Pierre Kerr. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Ms. Cumby. Good morning, Tobago. Right. So, of course, this is exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, we're celebrating a queen, a queen of Tobago, and we're talking about a musical, a Calypso musical, a production that is being done by the um, T-Pack. So tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about what we can expect. What is the genesis of this idea? I don't know, just what we're going to look forward to in, um, in this production. Yeah, sure. So when you have heard of the challenges that Calypso Rose has, um, systemic and otherwise, when you've made such an indelible mark on the nation and the region and the world, you, your fitting of a celebration and a veneration in the way that Roma Spencer's The Calypso Rose Musical um, celebrates and um, hails Rose's legacy, but also in teachers. So that is what the production is about. It is a, a musical sojourn of Rose's life from when she began in Tobago in Bethel, all the way to Barataria in Trinidad and her voyage across the world, um, as well as her rise to Calypso royalty. Right. And this is going to be um, produced through a musical. So you're going to yeah. take us on a musical journey yeah. from her, um, her start to where she is mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah. I know, as I said, I know anything coming out of TPAC based on our experience, you know, it's, it's very engaging to yeah. say the least. You know, it's very yeah. engaging. So tell us some of the things we can look forward to seeing or experiencing through this production. You can look forward to singing. You can look forward to to dancing and I'm telling you in the production as in you will be the one doing that because the musical, it is so explosive. Sure. Um, it is so much of an accessible history lesson. Almost all of Rose's classic song, Fire Fire, um, Tempo, mm -hmm. finds its way inside of the musical piece. Um, and to add to that, We've mounted through O.J. Richards' a live orchestra mm. with musicians from right here in Tobago and, of course, t Park's train performance course. So everything about it will be epic. It will be explosive. Right. It's an experience you cannot miss. And it is a show for the entire family. Right, right. And, of course, it's happening this Friday. This Friday. This Friday at the Shaw Park um, complex, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's at 7 p.m. promptly, guys. And tell us about ticket prices and where we can access tickets. So tickets are currently, because this is a one time showing, and it is the world premiere of the play. Um, the tickets are valued at $100. Children under 12, 12 and under, um, are free of charge, but they're still required to have a ticket. Um, school children are also free. The access routes are islandyticket.com or at the Shore Park Cultural Complex box office. If you want, you can call in um, TPAC at the num within using the number that is on the flyer 7500692. Um, and you can have your tickets reserved. Tickets will also be sold on the day of the show. So you have a uh, myriad options. You have myriad options with which to, to get your tickets. Right. And I find the prices are still up a it deal is, because... To, to produce something of this magnitude, I'm mm -hmm. sure it takes a lot of resources in terms of sure effort, yes. human resource and sure every does. other thing, yeah, you right. know. So, I mean, I, I want to encourage us, you know, to go out there and to support this um, event as we celebrate one of our stalwarts here yeah. right from Tobago. A talent, of course, that we appreciate yeah. and a talent that we are proud of yeah. that has graced us on national stages and has um, reigned to... Um, uh, Proclaim Tobago's name on national stages mm -hmm. so that you know puts us on the map out there in that kind of way. Mm -hmm. What are one of your favorite things about Calypso Rose? And also, what is one of your favorite experiences in terms of putting this production together? Right. Um, for, I have it's so difficult to choose one thing. Mm -hmm. um, but as a young woman and as a practitioner, I think I draw from her tenacity. And one of the things that it play tells you and it explains in very simple details the way 
in which Rose was able to overcome her hardships and she faced plenty of them. Mm -hmm. um, so from the story, I was able to appreciate what her journey was as well as her perseverance. Calypso Rose is so perseverant. Um, and you will get the fullness of it when you come to the show. In terms of moms <laughs> in the show, it is for me, it's always a joy, no matter how much times we do it, to work with the Teapot team. Um, we left Shaw Park like 11 last night. Mm. And the band is playing, the dancers are performing, the actors are on. Um, and for me, that is where the real magic is in the, in the process um, that you unfortunately do not get to see, but you <laughs> get to experience it That's in right. the one day product that happens this Friday at Shaw Park at 7 p.m. That's right. And I'm sure, as you said, we get to experience it. We don't get to see the behind the scenes, yes. but the energy mm -hmm. that is displayed on the stage, I'm yeah. sure patrons are able to connect with that Explosive. the output because mm -hmm. you see the relationships yeah. you see the um the, the rehearsals you see the yeah. pains you see the struggles yeah. Yeah. and then you see the product in the end you yeah. know so you're right it yeah. really is an experience it's, it's certainly an experience for all of us you know so I, I really am looking forward to seeing the production and you said it's a one time it's one so time is it just thing. once once one 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 o n e o n e are you sure i am but as if of right now <laughs> As of, well, remember, Dana, we have to pay for what we, I could see. That's right. So as of right now, it is one time only. And I mean, of course, with all of our works, we, we try as best as possible because of our mandate to maximize on any work that we build, to take it to as diverse an audience as possible, um, to take it through the national space and then hopefully of the region and across right. the world. Because this play was actually done via workshop version in toronto mm. so queen of the road was actually written by roma spencer who was a student at the mark bonham center university of toronto and they hired tpac to come to toronto to mm. develop the workshop of the play right and so that was the workshop version and that was sold out the response was so unforgettable so amazing and then the our mandate was also that when the play does premiere it will premiere on Rose's home soil. Right. And that is what is happening this Friday. And that is what people cannot miss. And this is the stories that we like to hear. Mm -hmm. We like to hear about all the, the backstories mm -hmm. that lead up to the yeah. actual production. So it's yeah. poor raising, yeah. actually. Yeah. It, I mean, you're speaking and my pores are raising. Mm -hmm. So it really is an interesting, it really is, uh, when I tell you substance, yeah. I, I can feel a su sense yeah. of substance yeah. in it. So, you know, we just want to urge you know, our listening viewers, our listeners and our viewers out there to come to participate. Yeah. Get your tickets, you know. We have all the ticket outlets are Shaw Park um cultural short Shaw Park complex rather, the box office there, and island tickets, right? To get your tickets. You can reserve your tickets, remember, children under twelve. Uh, free. Absolutely 12 free. free. And students. And primary, and secondary. primary and secondary school students are free. I need to find a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be purchasing my <laughs> ticket because this is not something I'd want to miss, you know. Yeah, so totally. it really is an awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome experience, I'm yes. sure. Certainly. You know, it's like you're sitting at the edge of your seat. You will be. You right. Will certainly be. Especially knowing the history and the yeah. road to get you guys yeah. to where you are. So is there anything else that you want to share that we don't like? Something behind the scenes, some little secret or secret ingredient or any little thing that we're not privy to what can i share um you you may know of the fact that rose and sparrow share the same tent mm. but you may not necessarily know about the fabric of their relationship mm. um and i'm not talking about an intimate relationship uh, but you have to you have to be there right to see how that relationship that rose has shared with sparrow right. over the years as mm. one of the first women of the original young brigade tent how that unfolds and you will only be able to see that when you come to show park i will also say this if you're looking for an alternative carnival event because the calypso rose musical is essentially um a tobago october carnival event mm -hmm. um, but a different style so it falls within that niche category if you're looking for a wonderful two hour long concert that will keep you at the edge of your seat that will keep you tapping that will force you to stand up and to right. sing and then to be part of our special end of show surprise for only a hundred dollars you 
I don't need to say anything <laughs> else. You have to be there. 7 p.m. show pack this Friday. But I'm so interested now in the end of show surprise. I'm not because... saying anything else, Adana. You're not going to speak about Because, me. I mean, there is so much already condensing this $100 and then there's an end of show surprise. Yeah. You know, so I'm really, really interested to see what that is about. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking with Miss Ray Sean Peck. And we're talking about Queen of the Road, a Calypso Rose musical, which has been produced by T-Pac. And it's happening this Friday, this Friday, yes, 20th, October, 7 p.m. at the Show Park Complex. And tickets are only $100. You can purchase your tickets from the box office mm -hmm. or island tickets. You can also reserve your tickets by calling 750 69 to remember children under 12 years old free and if you are a student from any school in Tobi yeah. Trinidad and Tobago it is absolutely free for you a carnival event you know as a, a, an event on our carnival Tobago carnival oh, calendar i yeah. um, not something to miss something you'd want to participate in an experience because we know as i said any production coming from tpac and uh, um the results would show you know the Excellent. proof is there yeah. that there is something worth participating in anything in closing miss um Rachel, that you want to share with our viewers if you've if you've if you are interested in coming out for the carnival and you want an opportunity to bring your entire family mommy daddy granny small man boy boy <laughs> everybody every single body the show has space for every single person no matter your age no matter your size no matter where you come from or where you go to um that is the first thing the other thing is if coming to the show will mean that you are part of the history that is the calypso rose musical because like you said who knows where it will go? Right. You don't want it to happen, right, on your own home to be going on soil <laughs> and you stay at home and then wonder. Remember what you, some of you all did with Bitter Cassava? Right. You wish you saw it. Don't wish. Today is Tuesday. The show is Friday. Come on down to Shore Park. Go to Island Tickets. Get your ticket. And we will see you at 7 p.m. It is worth your visit it is worth the experience thank you so much ray sean for giving us that insight into the production that takes place this friday ladies and gentlemen you are viewing tobago updates television and we are going to head on over right now into tobago notes but remember we invite you to continue to stay with us and to share the live share the live share the live <laughs>